Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the lowest common ancestor of a binary search tree problem. Given a binary search tree, BST, find the lowest common ancestor, LCA, of two given nodes in the BST. According to the definition of LCA on Wikipedia, the lowest common ancestor is defined between two nodes P and Q as the lowest node in the tree that has both P and Q as descendants, where we allow a node to be a descendant of itself. For example, they give you the, this binary search tree. As you know, a binary search tree is a tree where all the values in the left subtree are less than or equal to the values in the root, and all the values in the right subtree are greater than the value in the root. So, and the left subtree is a binary search tree, and the right subtree is also a binary search tree. So the property holds for the left subtree and the right subtree. So, what they want you to find is the lowest common ancestor. In example one, they want you to find the lowest common ancestor for 2 and 8. P equals 2, Q equals 8. So as you can see, the lowest common ancestor here for 2 and 8 is 6. What if they, want you, what if they wanted you to find the lowest common ancestor between 0 and 5? Then the lowest common ancestor of those two nodes would be 2. So how can we solve this problem? Um, if you pay attention here, you can traverse the tree starting at the root, starting at the root, and let's say that you were looking for the lowest common ancestor between 2 and 8. Then you know that the lowest common ancestor is 6 because the nodes diverge, the paths diverge, because the 2 is to the left and the 8 is to the right. So as you traverse the tree from the top from the root all the way down, when you find that the path diverge, that one node is on the left and the other is on the right, that's going to be the lowest common ancestor. For example, if you want to find the lowest common ancestor between 0 and 5, then you start at the root because both 0 and 5 are to the left, then you move to the left. Then when you get to the 2, because you realize that 0 is on the left side and 5 is on the right side, then you immediately know that the 2 is the lowest common ancestor. So we can do this recursively or iteratively. We start at the root and we move left or right depending where the nodes are. When we find out that the paths diverge, that's the lowest common ancestor. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. So first I'm going to say if root equals equals no, then return no. That means that if the tree is empty, then return um, no, or if I get to a no link, because there's no common ancestor. Okay, so now if p that value is less than root that value, and q that value is less than root that value, what does that mean? It means that both values are in the left subtree because of the property that if the values are less, they have to be to the left. So I have to move to the left subtree. Recursively, I can say return lowest common ancestor root that left p q. All right. So that's going to move to the left subtree. Now, if I find that p that value is greater than root that value, and Q that value is greater than root that value. What does that mean? That means that both values of P and Q are to the right. So P and Q are to the right, so I move to the right. Return lowest common ancestor root that right P Q. Now, what does that mean if I get here? It means that the paths diverge. That means that one value is to the left and the other is to the right. So one node is to the left and the other is to the right. So because the, the paths diverge, that means that uh, I found the lowest common ancestor, so I return the root. And I'm done. So now I'm going to run the code. OK, it seems to be working fine. Submit a solution. OK, 4 milliseconds faster than 100% of Java Online submissions. So as you can see, this is working perfectly. Um, the time complexity would be big O of big O of H, where H is the height of the tree. So if the tree is balanced, 
then it's going to be big O log n, where n is the number of nodes in the tree. So please press the like button, don't forget to subscribe, and see you next time.